in purgatory. Let us all rise to glorify the Lord by singing our entrance hymn. Sing to the mountains, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your heart. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good evening po. Good evening po, Amo. Let's celebrate this Mass with our community in prayer. May these prayers bring us to one heart, one mind in sharing our lives that we may experience the power of the grace of the resurrection of Jesus, like in the first reading in the Acts of the Apostles. For the times that we have sinned, we ask the Lord to pardon us. Recognizing our faults, we all together pray. I, I confess, confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly seen in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore as Blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Please remember your prayer, your petition in our minds. O God, who for the salvation of the world brought about the Paschal sacrifice, be favored to the supplication of your people, so that Christ, our High Priest, interceding on our behalf, may by his likeness to ourselves bring us reconciliation and by his equality with you free us from our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Liturgy of the Word. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind. And no one claimed that any of his possession was his own. But they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witnesses to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great favor was accorded to them all. There was no needy person among them. For those who own property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles. And they were distributed to each according to the Thus Joseph, also named by the apostles, Barnabas, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite, a Cypriot by birth, sold a piece of property that he owned, then brought the money and put it at the feet, at the feet of the apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial song, let our response be, the Lord is King, 
is robed in majesty. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is king in splendor robed. Robed is the Lord and girt about with strength. The Lord. the Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. And he has made the world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old, from everlasting. You are, O Lord. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. Let us all rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Son of Man must be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in Him may have eternal life. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, You must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes. But you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can this happen? Jesus answered and said to him, You are the teacher of Israel, and you do not understand this? Amen, amen, I say to you, we speak of what we know, and we testify to what we sin. But I tell you, if you, the earthly things, and do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven, except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The power of community life. In the first reading, read by Paula, the community in the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4, were believers of one heart and one mind. And no one claimed that any possession is his own and have everything in common. This is the definition of an early Christian community. Isang isip, isang kalooban, at lahat ng sa kanila ay kanilang binabahagi sa bawat isa. There's no such thing as private property at that time, but they give everything to the community. And the good thing about this, with great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of Jesus. Dahil sa ditong ganitong parasing paraan ng kanilang buhay, nakikita mo sa mga apostol ang grasya, malakas na impluensya ni Jesus na sinilang muli, na nabuhay muli, the resurrection of Jesus. Siguro sasabihin niyo sa akin, Father, totoo ba yan? Yung community with one mind and one heart, and then you live in a community where everything is shared. Pwede ba yun? Yes! Hanggang ngayon, marami pa pong ganyan. Institutionally. Narinig niyo na po yung mga Society of Jesus. They were founded by St. Ignatius, 1506. Meron po mga Jesuits dito. 
and they are present in 112 countries. Dito lang sa Pilipinas, hindi ko mabilang kung ilan yung mga eskwelahan nila at kanilang communities. Not only in Central Manila, in the other parts of, of the Philippines, and even small communities in mountains, they live in the same spirit, one mind, one heart, and they share everything in common. Yung iba dyan, magagaling. Mayroon akong kilala. He's a Malaysian. Nag-convert siyang Catholic. Lawyer na siya. And then pumasok na Jesuit. Lawyer. Intelligent. Affluent. And then he became a priest. Marami pa akong naririnig na ganito. Yung professor ko po sa AIM, Institute of Ma Asian Institute of Management, Ang galing-galing niya po, professor namin. Nanggaling po siya ng abroad, nag-doctorate. He's a professor in management. Karel, San Juan. And then suddenly, isudyante niya po ako. He talks to me casually. Father Deo, kumusta yung buhay pagpaparel? Siya binata pa nun. Very good professor. Suddenly, nung gumraduate po ako, a year or two, pumasok niya siya sa mga Jesuits. And now, he's a priest giving up a good life as a professor, an intelligent man in management. He could have been one of the best management guru and practitioner in the Philippines, but he's now a priest in one mind and one heart, sharing everything in common. Baka mas kilala niyo po yung mga Dominicans of St. Thomas, yung mga pare behind UST, University of Santo Tomas. Tawag sa nila, Order of Preachers. They are present in 109 countries. Dito lang sa Pilipinas, hindi mo mabilang-bilang kung ilan yung kanilang kongregasyon na mayroong eskwelahan. Hindi lang po mga pare, mayroon din po mga Dominican na mga madre. And uh, they are present, sabi nga, in 109 countries. And they started in 1216. Ang the good thing about this, yung pinakahead internationally is Father Gerald Timoner III. He is Filipino. Actually, namit ko na po si Father Timoner nung nakasama ko po siya bilang director ng seminary ng UST. Ako po'y director ng theology department naman ng San Fernando Pampanga Seminary, Mater Boni. Siya naman director po ng senior seminary sa UST. Now, is an international head of this congregation with mind heart, with man, one mind, one heart, and sharing everything. Siguro, familiar kayo sa mga Bosco niyan, Don Bosco. Behind this is the Salesian congregation of St. John Bosco. It started in 1859. Ang alam ko, at least they have 58 universities and colleges. Wala pa yung high school. At marami nilang marami nilang community that are small but in the communities of different difficult places. Mga school, out of, out of school youth. Ang naglilid ho dito, kapampangan din po siya naman na na talagang dedicated for the young boys. And uh, Father Santos po, no? And I, 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 I could see, minsan, Nakapasyal po kasi abroad, East Timor. Yung East Timor, kababa, kaka-separate pa lang sa Indonesia. It was a bloody separation. East Timor is one of the youngest countries. At nung nagpunta po ako doon to give some seminars for Caritas East Timor, Timor Leste, their name today. Alam niyo po, napasyal ko sa isang bundok, community. Alam mo, sino nakilala ko doon? Don Bosco Priest. They have a compound school for boys. Mayroon silang vocational school. And they live there in a remote place in East Timor. Salesian Priest. One mind, one heart, sharing everything. And sharing and serving the community. And they are very powerful witnesses of the risen Lord. Narinig niyo na po yung SVD, the Society of the Divine Word. Ito yung congregation ni 
Father Oscar Orbos, Father Jerry Orbos, I'm sorry. They are in 70 countries. They were established in 1875 by Arnold Jensen. And mga skwelahan nila, mga seminaryo, until now, they are very active in different ministries, sharing one mind, one heart, one mission, and sharing everything. St. Paul, Society of St. Paul, baka magpunta kayo sa mall, yung mga mayroong schools, uh, mga libro, yung mga may kandila, yung mga materials for religious uh, communication, mga St. Paul, may mga pare, seminaryo, eskwelahan, may mga madre, mga St. Paul missionaries na mga madre na may hospital, na may mga different ministries. I've been with the St. Paul sisters. Malalaki po yung hospital nila sa Baguio, sa Cebu, sa Iloilo. And I witness yung mga congregation nila, may mga doktor, mga nurses na mga madre full-time managing their hospitals. And mga pare, they also into mass media apostolate. Yung mga Benedictines, yung dito sa Angeles, meron tayong Holy Family Academy. San Fernando, meron tayong Saint, Saint Scholastica Academy. Sa Manila, may Saint Scholastica College. They have a network of schools. Wala pa po dyan yung mga lalaking mga Benedictine priest na po. And you see, they have more than 20,000 monks. Yung palang monks po ito, this is the monastery side. Uh, kasi po yung mga Benedictines, malawak sila. Mayroong nasa school, mayroong nasa konvento, mayroong nasa mission, and they are active in, in different ministries. 400 monasteries in the whole world. 20,000 monks and they were established by St. Benedict in 526. My dear friends, there are so many, if I would outline more, baka may kilala pa kayong marami. And uh, yung mga Carmelite sa ating cement dito sa Angeles and uh, St. Clair sa Betis, one mind, one heart, one community sharing all. They continue to witness to our world. Pwede naman pala. Pwede tayong mamuhay as in the Acts chapter 4, 32 to 37. The community of believers was with one heart and one mind. No one claimed anything for their possessions but their own. They had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And they grew favor was accorded to all. Sa community natin sana dito, sa Sapang Bato, sa ating parokya, kahit pa konti-konti lamang, we can live with one mind and one heart and begin to share more with one another our time, our resources. Hindi lang paminsan-minsan na misa, paminsan-minsan magsimba, but we can do and follow the early beginnings of our Christian church sharing everything that we have as much as possible, our strength, our time, our talent, our treasures, in one mind, claiming no possessions our own, but sharing everything in common. Then, like the apostles in the community, we will be witnesses in this world. Sana ito po yung maging susi natin sa ating parokya. Kahit hindi tayo kongregasyon, kamukha ng mga nabanggit kung marami pang kongregasyon, Isang isip, isang puso, isang paraan ng ating pagbibigay ng sarili sa bawat isa. Magiging buhay na buhay si Kristo sa ating pananampalataya. Let this be our good news. Let us experience the power of community life. Hindi kanya-kanya o kanya-kanyang opinion, kanya-kanyang isip o kanya-kanyang ari-arian. Pag ito'y pinagsasamaan, ito'y naging grasya ng Diyos na buhay. Sa atin lahat, may we celebrate the power of community life in our lives, in our midst. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please all stand. Jesus is lifted up on the cross 
that we may be born from above the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray that we may die of our sinful selves and live as reborn children of the Father. For every prayer we shall answer, Lord, bless us from above. Lord, bless us from above. May the Church, the people of God, be of one mind and heart through the Holy Spirit who unites believers with God and with one another, we pray. Lord, bless us from above. May Christians who were born from above by virtue of their baptism be faithful to their baptismal promise to reject Satan and all his empty promises, we pray. Lord, bless us from above. May we grow in personal relationship with the Holy Spirit so we can live in His power and use His gifts to make this world a better place, we pray. Lord, bless us from above. May we open our ears and our hearts to the gentle sound and movement of the Spirit through prayerful silence and reflection, we pray. Lord, bless us from above. May the departed souls enter paradise and enjoy the vision of heavenly things, we pray. Lord, bless us from above. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. Lord, pour upon us your Holy Spirit, the first fruits of those who believe, that we may rejoice in the restored glory of our redemption through the power of the same Spirit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Liturgy of the Eucharist. Lord, we bring to you the bread of life we offer to you. Bless them with your spirit and to Dear friends, that this sacrifice may be made acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to claim you, but in one at this time above all, to load you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through Him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For His death is our ransom from death, and His rising, the life of all, is risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Oh, so Hosanna, O 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the known eternal covenant. It will be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Florentino, our Bishop, and all the priests and all the religious who live the community life in one mind, in one heart, sharing everything that they have to witness to the power of the resurrection of Christ. Lord, remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Saints who appreciate you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all together pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will. us, Lord, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace, the unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. My dear friends, we share with one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. of spiritual communion lord jesus you are the bread of life whoever eats this bread will live forever i love you and desire to receive you in holy communion at this moment i cannot receive you in the sacrament of the holy eucharist come then spiritually and dwell in my heart i embrace you and unite myself totally to you may i never be separated from you amen Ever on my lips the praises of the Lord, ever when my mouth God's music, through the dark of night and morning's golden light, God's praises I will sing. Taste and see heaven's bounty every step and breath we take is a gift that god has made ever on my lips the praises of the lord ever when my mouth god's music through the dark of night and morning's golden light, God's praises I will sing. Let us pray. Please all stand. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us the fruits of Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of His saving food. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessings of Almighty God rest upon you and your family and loved ones the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is offered. Let us go continue to work towards one heart and one mind and share most of the things that we have, that we experience the power of Jesus resurrected. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. I will celebrate the wonder of your name For the world that is big is a song of forgiveness And a song of gentle mercy and of peace All praise and all thanksgiving